Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of my Jiu Jitsu journey. Uh, today is episode five, which is good. It means that I'm making progress. Um, I think this is something I will continue to do just because I think I'm learning so much. I'm learning how to physically look after myself mentally. You know, these are challenging sessions and also obviously spiritually because you learn a lot about who, who you are and how you fight. Um, so today we have Guy to start off. We have Guy here. Um, first of all, actually, I would want to say that if anyone wants to try something like this, I would 100% encourage you to do it because just you know I've, I've made my insights I've learned what I've learned but I think you you know you will learn new things too and I think through this videos I can just show you that you know even at the beginning I think I said it last time even at the beginning you can learn so much things and you know you can take it into your real life you know it's not even about fighting it's just about you know challenging yourself always um so we'll go so we start off with Guy with Guy is also always difficult because you always have to go on with a, with a, um, a strategy a technique you know and uh, so straight away, I'm trying to find, you know, I'm trying to find a way to grab something of his. You know, guards and grabs are very important. Um, you know, um, so we can have a little tussle there. Um, he's trying to grab, he's trying to grab the inner, the inner, you know, the inner of my gi. I kind of keep my keep his hands away from that. He's controlling my legs, able to spin me, and this is again a mistake by me. I should not let him take my back because once he takes my back I can't see him I can see what he's doing and say I, I don't see that he's doing that which he, he grabs his lapel and tries to use it to choke me from the side um, I'm not in the defensive straight away in the defensive mode where you know you know again he's he tries that again and luckily for me because it's around the back of my neck is it's, it's easier for me to defend I tap my head in and I just keep keep the center you know the center of your body you know as not as exposed as you can you know, and she, you know, and then we so we kind of we kind of keep going. I'm kind of grabbing his arms. He's just trying to he's trying to choke me around, you know, around the thing. I grab his arms. I'm trying to keep him away from me. Um, he mounts me, which is not good. Again, because he's in my back, I don't see the moves that he's making. He mounts me, and he tries to kind of um, go for that the 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 choke. You know, so he's he's both at once time he's he's grabbing that um, lapel trying to choke me with it but he's also going for the choke and i'm trying to maneuver by just like moving around and then we stop just because we don't you know we don't want to get hurt and um so yeah there's a little break here but yeah that, that just just seeing that straight away from the beginning seeing that i still haven't realized that was his technique yet but yeah so we go again and um yeah again so my my my, my tactic is yeah grab grab something of his and then use that to start start the attack um but yeah so we start in this position i'm just, you can see you can see that i'm grabbing his right arm but he's able to like get away from that unlock it um straight away i should have seen i should have sat up but i'm more comfortable on my back um in these positions in these um in these especially with geek just because i think it's easier to see them come in but not unless the person does something you're not used to which is what he's doing here he's using my lapels against me I can't spin. He mounts me. He, he gets close. This, you know, this is called side control, and so he tr tries that same technique again, where he uses his own thing to go around my head. And I think he sees it this time. As soon as I see that happen, I lock his leg because you know, obviously, he's trying to find a way he can move past my legs and then you know use that use that hold that he has with his right arm and just kind of strangle me. But he needs the other. He needs his old, you know, his upper body to do that. So I grab the leg, and you know he's trying to—he's he's trying to escape that. And as I'm trying to—as I'm grabbing his leg, I'm using my arms to try to free that choke that he has on me. He try to free that choke he has on me, but he's patient. You know, he you know tries different chokes, tries different ways to get to get past it. You know, he kind of forgets about his legs for a bit and tries to just choke me out from there. Um, so we go at it for a while. I'm trying to stretch out his legs just to keep his butt he him away from me a little bit, but there so there like i think just right there it got to a point where the choke was too much i think i might have tapped because it was just it, you know it was just really like i can't explain it unless you unless you've been in that position the choke being choked by the stuff that you're wearing is very very um um it's very like um it's more smothering because you can't really escape it but yeah so we go again you know we're trying to just jerk for position again i'm trying to find a way to grab grab a hold of something or something of his one of his clothes um See, I try to go for the lapel, the inside of his lapel, because you know you can control the lapel, you can control the upper body, his upper body. Um, but again, he mounts it, so he stands up, you know, to put a bit of distance between me and him, and to also escape my legs. So he pushes my legs to the side and mounts me again to the side. And while he's done that, I've turned my back again. So again, this is this is why these sessions are so important. Turning your back like that on an opponent who knows what he's doing is very dangerous because again, he started from the back, 
So I, he can't see here, but he's now taking my clothes and he's twisting them in different directions. And as you push different directions, obviously the person wearing is now being choked. Imagine it's like being choked by a necktie or something like that. I'm trying to now, I'm trying to now have some space be in, in between me and him by just kind of pushing, pushing his arms away. So he mounts me. You know, he gets in that side control. He's 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 properly mounting me. And once he stands up in that leg, I know what's coming. He's just basically trying to arm. He's gonna arm lock me, so I kind of shift. I'm a, I'm able to shift, shift my body a bit. Now this is a slightly better position to have my back to him, but also it's not great because, as you can see now, he's trying to do that thing again. I notice that, so I kind of, I, I grab hold of that part of his or part of his clothes and put it behind him and use my other arm now. Now you know, he's, and and I tuck him that arm because I can see there that he's, he, you know, if, if I'm not careful, he's gonna go for the arm lock. But again no matter what you do the person can find a way around it you know so he's trying to push my arm above my head i'm trying to keep it as as you know interlocked as possible as close to my body as possible now he goes for the other part of his of, of his geek he now uses my gear to try to try to con like try to struggle me so you can see he has one of it around my neck and then now he pushes so he, he kind of sits up and he pushes as he pushes the obviously the pressure between me sitting up with him and him pushing down has that has that effect where your neck is basically just being you're being choked out from your neck down um so again i tap i think by this time i've realized what's going on i realized that he he, he, he keeps choking me with, with my key um but it's about finding a way around it it's about finding a technique around it you know again i even though i know what's coming i'm unable to you know get away from that and now but i kind of see i kind of see what he's doing so my way of defending in the moment i think was keeping distance between me and him so he kind of takes out me uh, between my legs i kind of try to grab it he now he rolls and as soon as i see him roll i also roll because if i don't he's going to be able to just you know kind of choke me again where like you said before he's moving to one direction and i'm staying stationary so you have to move the person and then we're still in that kind of guard group you know we're kind of you know, just in the position I'm able to get away and I think the ball is gone already so then we, 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 we kind of end there but yeah I'm just saying to him like that's crazy I didn't realize that that can be so dangerous <laughs> yeah and he's like yeah you can't get away from it because it's true like you can't go from the clothes you're wearing so how, how are you going to defend against that but that's something I have to learn and I'm grateful for that so I'm thinking I'm grateful for teaching me something like that because you know it's better to learn on the mat here than in, the com in competitions or something like that and then the second one we have here is um, it's no gi so we got rid of the jackets um no geese is slightly easier but again it's it's not it's, it's, it's still a roll so it's a roll um again to begin my take my um strategy here is to pass the legs mount him or if i can't do that then use my legs um so you see here i'm trying to I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep keep hold of one of his arms so he doesn't he, he, he doesn't grab he doesn't grab my arms he's trying to bring me close i kind of move back because i know that you know him bringing me close in that position is not good for me and I kind of, um, so I'm trying to keep my legs in between him, you know, keep my legs in between him. And then again, that's dangerous because he, he just straight away go from the, uh, uh, go for the leg lock. But see, as soon as I see the opportunity, I grab his arm and I put my leg around uh, uh, over his left arm. So now my legs are interlocked. I'm basically finding a way to, if I can position myself properly, I can go for the choke. But I'm unable to do that. So I kind of, again, I switch, I, uh, I switch into close guard and kind of keep hold of his arm. Um, and he's able to get get the arm away, and then as soon as I see he gets his arm away, it's about controlling his wrist. If I'm able to control his wrist, I'm able to control how he moves the rest of his body. So I straight again, again I go for that that same technique again. He stands up, and as he's standing up, you can see my my leg, my arm, sorry, my arm is locked in around his leg, so he can't stand up. So when he does stand up, I end up rolling him on the side. Um, but but as I see that this it's not it's not really working, and you know because the position is not strong enough you know you're supposed to get it in a way where you're both both his arms and his legs are kind of in a position where you can't move it but because i'm right in his armpit he can still move his left arm so he's not really choking him um so i i tried i tried different ways you know i try you have to be patient in jiu-jitsu um but he's also patient he's able to you know get past you know my um my guard he's able to get past that lock i had you know he kind of now he's trying to mount me he locks my legs and now he makes you know he makes his way up i think for a couple of minutes here we just kind of kind of struggle back and forth for that technique i'm trying to keep his leg locked so he doesn't mount me and he's trying to get rid of that leg lock and also mount me because he's in a position where he can basically mount me if he gets past my legs 
I'm also trying to push. I'm trying to push round. So I'm supposed to be facing him. If I'm ever not facing him, it's not good for me. But again, as I saw with the last guy, if you don't face them, then they can they can just begin doing what they want to do and you have no control. Um, so again, it's important to for you to have control, to be able to face them and also have an idea of what you're doing. Have an idea of what your opponent is doing, but also have an idea how you're going to counter it. I think here, my counter is to make sure he doesn't pass my leg. As you can see, I put my hands in between me and him. Um, and then I think also here, because I see his, his hand around my neck, I try to push my head back so I can get his hand out. Away from my neck because obviously he can't choke me there just yet because he's not got past my guard. But in any position he can. So again, we, we struggle, we struggle. He kind of gets past my guard. I lock the, uh, I kind of lock his arms again. Um, but here I use the the board at the back to kind of push. I think not now, but yeah. So again, see arms up, leg locked. His leg locked anyway. But even though he's in a position where it's good for him, so he's finally passes my guard, and I'm in a position where now he's you can see now he's he kind of relaxes a bit because he knows that he he has the advantage here i'm trying to keep my arms to my side but i made the mistake of letting him pass one of his legs over my guard i try to push out but instead i push i push in a position where now he's actually not good for me and now he has he has me in that it's called i think uh, a leg choke so he has me in a leg choke and he's basically squeezing he he, he kind of figures that position again that's what i was trying to do before I've kind of find a position where i'm now on, uh, 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 kind of above his hips, uh, above his hips and above his, above his shoulders. You know where he's now. So obviously, we, you know, we kind of jockey. I tap because I try to find a way out, but I can't. And you know, when someone has that um, position, especially, I think I've, I've said a couple of times, you can't really get away. You just have to just kind of start again, almost. So we start again. And again, my tip, my um, my strategy is the same. Um, if I'm if, if if I'm standing. Is try to get past the legs and if I can't then find a way to um, find position so again I can't get past the leg I give I, I give up the position easily in a real competition this will be points for him because I stand in, I stand I, I started standing but I end up going going on my back um, but yeah again so straight away I go for that I go for that again I get I guess I call it a leg hook a leg leg grab I don't know the proper technique for it but leg grab but he's trying to find a way up past it i think that's the only the downside is if they find a way past your legs then you're in a position where you you know they can easily attack you so i'm trying to keep my legs in between him I'm trying to you know keep 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 grab of his arms he spins but i see that so i spin again and somehow and, and i end up having him in a choke having him in a choke this is a really good position for me having him in the choke but the bell goes and um yeah and so that's that's that that's another now training session you can see i'm exhausted there was many sessions to, <laughs> we had like 15 sessions 10 whatever um but anyway um it's good again i'm still improving i'm still getting better uh thank you guys for watching and until next time peace